Please. What's up, motherfuckers? <laughs> Have you heard or read about the Muslim tradition of cutting seven-year-old girls' clits off? Yeah, they do that in Africa, too. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, dude. Third world countries, dude. They're fucking archaic. How is fucking that? Jo join the rest of us. How does that even make sense? I don't get that. Dude, in certain parts of, like, uh, the Middle East, like, if a woman does the simplest shit, like, read a newspaper, it's, like, totally cool for them, like, to death. Dude. That fucking side of the world needs to be blown the fuck up, dude. My, uh, the PIO at my work, public information officer, he said he knew this guy who worked in Saudi Arabia or some shit for a year and a half or something. And he said uh, he was over there flying drones. And he said all the people that were there flying drones, he said, like, when they did the call to prayer, they were like, fuck it. They didn't give a fuck. They just got up and went to pray. And he said, like, all the drones would just crash and shit. Yeah. And then he said they were out in, like, this public square, like, sitting there. And this guy brought his, like, drug his wife there by her hair or whatever and fucking just shot her in the head in that public square. Yeah. And she had, like... I don't know, looked at porn or something stupid. Yeah. Drove, drove a car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Crazy dude. fucking shit, dude. That side of the world, dude, that whole fucking side of the world is fucking ridiculous. I say get everybody the fuck out of there and let them kill each other. Fuck them. I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm trying to find that story. I read this article what? this morning about the clip being cut off. And they said that the chick said her mom took her to the doctor and said, uh, when you get to be seven or eight years old, there's a bug in your body that tries to get out, and we have to cut it off before it gets out and causes damage or whatever. And that bug is their clitoris. That's awful. And apparently, all fucking all little girls have that done to them. Yeah, and it's not like in a hospital either. They're not like, hey, let me put some iodine on that and clean it up. They just go, "Are right, you ready?" <laughs> Watch out. Had it's fucked end. up, dude. Those other sides of the country that are all still throw third wretches. Like people go visit there. Like why the fuck would you go visit that place? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, dude. I just found this out the other day. Like Dubai seems like a really cool place and everything. There's all kinds of cool yeah. stuff there. Yeah. You get arrested for having a, for doing public displays of yeah. affection. Yeah. Like if you, me and you were kissing, we'd get arrested. Actually, we'd probably get killed. Yeah. They'd fucking. Yeah. They'd fucking yeah. It's fucked up. Like. Yeah. I don't know. Taking it for granted and all that, I understand. Like, we're Americans, and Australia's pretty cool, and Canada's really great, but... Dude, those other sides of the world need to get... Fucking join the rest of us, you fucking dickholes. Stop doing that shit. And they never fucking will. I say Hiroshima, that motherfucker, and let's be done with it. Rome, 2,000 years ago. And Rome now? It's fucking great. Beautiful. I've been there. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Have you? Okay, so yeah, I was just disturbed by that, and I thought it was totally fucked up. Yeah, totally fucked yeah. up. Why would you do that, dude? Like, I look at Ella, it, it, dude. It's just so fucked uh, up. And that's like fucking weird things yeah, like that too. Like when I was younger and I was getting all kinds of trouble. I don't know why. Maybe it was a Reno so thing, but they gave you list. Like if you got a DUI, they give you like a list of shit. Like if you got a DUI in Iraq or over here, it's so fucked up. Like if you get a DUI in Iraq, they just like drag you out to the like to nowhere and take your shoes off and make you walk back like fifty miles. So what is that? And then you kill somebody for like reading. Dude, honestly, if they if like my DWI, if they said. We're going to drive you to fucking Moriarty and you got to walk back. I would have been like, fucking A. It would have been way better than going to jail and paying all the money and doing all those classes and all that shit. You're lucky you got away with one of those You're fucking, ha not having to have an interlock. Mm. That's obstacle. My shit was before all that. Uh, that's fucking brutal. I think Tyson's going to have to get one of those. Mm. They suck. They suck. I can't, dude, speaking of, I can't believe he was on Restaurant Impossible. Yeah, he told me about that like a few months ago. <laughs> I love that show. I've never even fucking heard of it. <laughs> I like the guy, really. I forget his name, the English guy. I think he's. Cool. He said that that guy in real life's oh, kind of a fucking asshole. 
I could, I could imagine, dude. He kind of yeah. And they totally like changed their schedule and shit. Like, he said when like when it's in, like open, like all right, let's open it up. Like during the day, it's actually like at two o'clock in the fucking morning. He said they had to change everybody's schedule. Like the whole staff had to switch shifts, and it was a fucking nightmare. He said. But so this YouTube show. So show. Uh, I sent you a video. You don't have to watch it now. Google is creating this new smartphone. And it's got little like slide out pieces on the back. I think there's like eight and they're all different sizes. And they all have like a little electronic made up thing or whatever. So you can like slide in a camera or get a different camera or you can slide in a battery or you can slide in whatever. Yeah. And the front, the screen, say you uh, drop it and the screen breaks or you want a higher resolution screen or whatever, you just slide the screen out and slide a new one in. It, it's called a modular phone. It's fucking. Shit, I don't think they're gonna shit, make it anytime soon. Nah, but. That shit creeps me out. All this new that technology shit, freaks me out. I don't like it. I'm old school, man. I want to. I want to move to a ranch. I want to be a rancher. <laughs> I want to brand cattle and ride horses. I want to be old school. <laughs> That's what's cool about the fucking my parents' zombie compound. Uh, you're like so out in the middle of nowhere, and there's nothing to do, and internet there kind of sucks so you just kind of get tired of trying to connect and it's just dude, it's fucking that's what fun. that's what remote control cars are made for dude who would not have fun with the remote control car <laughs> there it goes there it goes fucking great are you are you familiar with those tracks traxis cars mm, no they're like the the fucking 500 dollars or whatever for a, and you can change the body and you can change the suspension it's one of those ones, like, say this is the ground, and you dropped it from, like, your head height. It's just all, <laughs> it just, it doesn't bounce or anything. So, my friend Cameron, it was uh, Lucas's first birthday, and he came over here, and he brought that Traxxas car. And you have to rebuild the motor after every six hours of use or something. <laughs> something crazy. It's like a little, like, engine. And it runs on nitromethane, which, um... The top field dragsters and all this shit, those cars that go, you know, the quarter mile in like three uh -huh. seconds at like 330 miles an hour or whatever, they run off of nitromethane. It's this crazy fuel. So it runs off of nitromethane and you have to let it warm up for like 10 minutes before you can use it. And it's a two speed and his went 70 miles an hour. Damn. And so he drove it to the down my street, like to, you know, where the corner is, like the bend. Yeah. Right there. He drove it down there and then he fucking. Booked it, dude. The way on the way up, it was all. Burr, burr. <laughs> it was fucking hauling ass, dude. And then it just crashed into this car. It was all boo, and everybody was like, "Oh!" And it just blew to bits. That's man. awful. And he was all, "Fuck, that sucks." <laughs> hey, that dude. I I really want to buy. Like you can buy drones now, one of the small ones. I really want to buy one. They're like six hundred bucks, but if you break it, you're gonna be pissed. But it looks so fun. I ordered, I ordered did, you really? that, did you really? Yeah, for my birthday. I ordered one that uh, the GoPro makes yeah. too. They're fucking yeah. awesome. They're, I saw a video on YouTube of these guys who got, I don't know, there was like five of them. And they were in an underground parking structure and they were racing them. Dude, it was like the coolest video I've ever fucking seen, dude. Like I watched it like a thousand times. I watched so many just because I was researching which one to get. Uh, and I watched so many drone videos. This one guy. Dude, the one, I didn't get this one. Like the one you're talking about, like 800 bucks, it has a return to home feature. Have you seen that? Uh, I think so. Yeah. So, uh, I think so yeah. it has like a radius of like two miles or something. You can control it. And you either control it with your phone or your iPad, or you like, you have to buy the controller for it. But it, so say like we were doing it at your house or whatever, we would set the GPS at your house. So then when we fly off and it gets out of range or we lose battery power or whatever, it would automatically just return back to That's the house. so fucking awesome. Yeah, it's fucking yeah. And I remember just like, maybe, I don't know, I'm probably wrong, but like six years ago, dude, those things were like so big and heavy. Now they're just all, whoop. Oh, tiny. Yeah. tiny. Check out that picture I just sent you. Huh. Huh. <laughs> dude, I had to stop doing that when I was like, God damn it. Like fifteen or sixteen, I went to Brad's house. 
and his mom told me she's all, why you do that <laughs> after everything? He's like a hyena. Like a hyena. Well, fuck you, man. Hyena. So I'd be like, hey, she'd be like, fuck you, you old money digging gold. <laughs> Your bitch. fucking son's adopted, Your bitch. Son's uh. adopted, bitch. Uh. Oh, and his ears. Yeah. <laughs> Break me, or he looks all surprised. Break me, or he looks all surprised. Is that a recent photo? Is that a recent photo? Yeah, dude. He's kind of let himself. He kind of looks like shit. I don't know. I don't know. He's not going to win. I don't know. I've seen some fucking crazy, uh, crazy uh, comeback shit. Comeback shit. What do you think about uh, Weidman versus Vitor? I think Weidman's going to kick the shit out of him. <laughs> I know, dude. That guy is just so old. I feel bad for him. Yeah. Vitor, Victor. And it's weird. Like, he weird. started in the UFC, he like, in the UFC dude, like, years ago. He was young then, but young it's not even that he's old. He just isn't that good. Old. I don't know why he gets all hyped up. I don't know why he gets all hyped up. I don't, I don't that's, that's one of those things, dude, that we were talking about. Back then, he could have dominated because he was just crazy. And he had he was crazy fast. And he had power. Yeah. You know? But now, it's like, there's a whole new level of people that are fighting. Right? That's the way I look at it. They're that's just the like, everybody it. now, they're not. Everybody now I started in karate, and then I trained in MMA. They just, they go in MMA, like, immediately. Say goodbye. Goodbye.